Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 33 to 34. Due to Webtoon's new policy for 2023 all the way till now, 2024, I do have to keep on going with the blurs. The cat logo uh, blur has come up. I have to add filters. I have to cut out some stuff because if not, never Webtoons and their team will flag my channel again and will try to shut down my channel. So not risking that. So we're going to keep on doing that. But for anyone out there who do want to support me for all I do and, and read, I do have all these reads on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. And there you guys will gain early access, not have to deal with any of the censorship, especially for all the content that are very, very, you know, not very YouTube friendly, especially if it's like mystery and horror and you know, love. <laughs> uh, definitely check it out there. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. No need to be so upset. Actually, your father cherishes you because you are of use. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 33. Is that the... So... Was he the doctor to the now Duke? The Grand Duke? Gin Lapillion. You were divorced a long time ago. How come you have such a little child? Uh, how naive of you. Was with that shameless attitude you broke the family rules. Are you going to deny taking the girl's blood and selling it? Well, it's just that I didn't expect that to be the first question. Bastards aren't a r rarity, after all. Anyways, I apologize for not reporting my daughter's birth to the dukedom. This is not something to get upset about to you, Grace. What did you say? I just wanted everyone to know <laughs> the greatness of the Lapillians. I don't understand why we try so hard to hide it. Our blood doesn't leave any trace, unlike other poison, and just a few drops are enough to kill a person. It's the greatest weapon of all. Its lethality is second to none. Everyone who's seen what it can do praises it. It's something that should be revealed, not hidden then everyone in the world will look up to the Pil Lapillians. Is this your paltry reason for doing such a thing to a child? Once that secret goes out, we will be shunned as demons. The whole family could be wiped out. You coward, huh? Us indirect descendants have to live in such misery, all because cowards like you are leading our family. Most Lopillions don't last long. Gloria is the exception. I'm merely trying to prove our family's in it, superiority while we're alive. What's so wrong about that? Enough. Am I wrong? You're not so prim, prim and proper yourself. Do you also use your blood? What are you? You won the war thanks to your blood, didn't you? Never once did I use my blood in the war. Our blood is not for such purposes. And you should know better. Oh, is that so? Then what about that woman? You brought that bride of yours because the curse doesn't work on her. Ugh. How you know it doesn't work? You tried your, your blood on her, didn't you? Has it never occurred to you that we are the ones turning a blind eye to your abominable actions? You're one to talk. You and your profound arrogance are only in the mighty position thanks to your bloodline. Don't you dare think that everything is under your feet. Ooh, I brought, dropped something on my side. <laughs> 
listen to what you're saying. You don't know your place, do you? We're not here to listen to your opinion. Tell us, where did you sell the girl's blood? Tell us everything. Well, another day. The girl is rather cautious. Then again, I suppose it can't be helped. She's been here for days, but we don't even know her name. It's all because of that quack trash. Why is she still sick? He should be taking good care of her if he knows her blood has traded. Tell me about it. Oh, bow. <laughs> Shove her head down to bow. Red eyes? Some of the indirect descendants of the Lapillians are said to work under Venus. That's the only way they can engage in social activities. They're relatives, so they can tend to their kin's wounds. Oh, look, it's a Grand Duchess! Oh, she's immune to the curse. It'd be best to wait until her condition improves. Poor girl, she looks so sick. I haven't seen her since then. I hope she opens up soon. First, we should assign servants in a way that rumors of her don't spread. Goodness, I was so busy working that I didn't realize that it was already this late. Hmm. Selfie? Uh, wait, that mask. I've been watching her. It looks like she's scared of red eyes. I think she doesn't talk because she's surrounded by Lapillians. Since no one's around, please help me, Grace. If I wear this, I, I can't really see. So, even if Uncle Phoenix took hold of me, I still want to try. Such a kind boy. Yes, let's give it a try. Hi. Can we come in? Uh, I'm Parashati, and he's... I'm Selfius. Uh, oh, perhaps it's not working. I'm... I'm... It's Letty. Oh. Huh? She's opening up. So it is, maybe it is true that her red, uh, everyone's red eyes scares her. This episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. You guys been warned and if it gets really graphic for the YouTube side, I will have to blur it. I'm sorry, guys. But this is episode 34 if you guys want to read along and see what's was covered. After that day, doctors began wearing eye shades when treating Isleti. How are we supposed to w do our work this way? Just try to dis disinfect her wound. Oh, I see. When they covered their eyes, Isleti let her guards down and began to relax, and tending to her became much easier. Put up a curtain on the nearby window. Remove any mirrors in the room. Venus and Venus complimented Selfie and asked him to spend some time with the slutty. Can you come again once we, uh, you're back from school? Uh. <laughs> Ray visit a slutty every day, and over time her condition improved. My father gave me my name. He said I'm a very important child. Oh. Asladi said she always stayed in the same place. She didn't know her age, nor did she know how to read. She said she did have a caretaker, but the caretaker stopped coming at one point. 
Judging from the description, the caretaker seems to have been a maid. Could she be the one who taught Isleti how to talk? It's a miracle that she learned how to talk in those conditions. She looks about five, maybe six. And from that thin, small arm. And yet, he called her an important child but only used his own child for drawing blood. When is Papa coming? Do you want to go back? Uh, if you want. You don't have to see him ever again. Uh, the people here won't do anything you don't want. You can live with us here. How about that? R really So no one will take my blood anymore? Huh? Uh, of course not. Of course not. Oh, then what should I do for you in return? Well, play with us. Oh. Oh. Let's go outside once you're all better. I'll give you a tour around the house too. I told you to stay quiet, didn't I? Ruined again. <laughs> that father is evil. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 34. What's the meaning of this? It took me weeks to come all the way here once I heard the news, but the case is still unsolved. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Long time no see, Shershi. Shersha. Smack. Oh my gosh, a smack. She hits hard. S stop. Has your heart grown soft? Do you pity the scum? He used his daughter because he didn't want to suffer himself. I did hear of the situation, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Has your time at war made you lose your touch? You better give up on being the duke if this is how you're going to do the job. Send him to Master Crips. If he doesn't talk, make him. And just, but just enough so he doesn't die. Sh Shersha. Have you forgotten how much I looked after you two, uh, you two ever since you were little? You ungrateful brat! It's not like I killed the child. Let's just talk it out. Don't go! Come. I shall interrogate the rest, and you closed off the surrounding area, didn't you? Knights have been posted. Don't pity him. It'll get you nowhere. Anyway, we are the ones to blame since our blood was leaked. First, we should clean up this mess. I'll take care of the rest. You deal with the situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's really good. It's so I kind of held back on like ranting a little bit about like when I saw the clip, the panel of the little girl just remembering how her father treated her and like was telling her to be quiet and then look at her and like you know you can tell like they've been drawing blood from her her arms all bruised up and that just kind of makes me think about all the true crime documentary of like you know kids who got kidnapped or kids who you know who was kind of like pretty much conceived 
by their mother who was also a kidnapped victim and they live in like a shed and if you guys watch you know those type of documentaries it makes your heart ache because you know there are kids who born into that life and don't even know what the sun looks like because their capture their dad or whatever uh kept them there and they think oh this is normal you know but once they are freed and they are out, you know out in the real world that's when they have they exposed to stuff and they realize it's not normal to be captured and locked up in the basement for for that long and eat only bread or whatever like there's so many beautiful things out there in the world and yes there's dark darkness there but to be there like i just feel so sad for this little girl but it's not just a story it happens in real life there's people like that anyways i kind of tug my heartstrings a little bit uh if you guys enjoyed the way i read this and react to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up check out my other reads that i have done and check out the playlist if you guys want to binge it i appreciate you guys so much for supporting me and watching all my contents leaving comments sharing them thank you so much for honestly supporting and loving me all right guys i'll catch you guys next time bye